by starting on point. He is from Drummondville, Quebec, on board the Expertec 22 Graphics, number 48. That is Patrick Picotin. Picotin starts on the pole. On the outside of row number one, driving the 1R, he is from Hogansburg, New York, on board the Brass Horse Bar and Grill Machine. That is Ricky Thompson. Back to row number two on the inside, third starting spot. He is the driver of the Donnelly Construction 08 from Malta, New York. That is Jack Spishock. Spishock starts third. On the outside of row number two in the fourth starting spot, he is driving the Guaranteed Service Express Industrial Med Testing number 18 from Moores. That is Chris K.A. K.A. starts fourth. Row three on the inside, fifth starting spot in the Liquor and Wine Warehouse Make-A-Wish number seven from Plattsburgh. That is Cody Aubin. Aubin starts fifth. Row number three on the outside, the sixth starting spot. He is from Easton, Connecticut, on board the 7X Michael Sabia in the Henry's Exhaust 7X machine. Sabia starts sixth. Row four on the inside, seventh starting spot, driving the Marsha Holmes 20X from Keysville. That's Jamie LaFountain. LaFountain starts seventh. On the outside, he is driving the Ellenberg Auto Parts, KL Plumbing and Heating, number 19 from Boers, Jamie Begor. Begor starts eighth. Back to row number five on the inside, the night starting spot on board the unique E-Sigs, Egglefield 4, number 93. From West Shays, is Chris Frenier. Frenier starts ninth. On the outside of row number five, 10 starting spot on board the St. Lawrence Radiology 7W from Chattagay, New York. That is Devin Willis. Willis starts 10th. Row number six on the inside, 11th starting position on board the Adirondack siding R7. From Beekman Town, that is Lonnie Rivers. Rivers starts 11th. On the outside, last week's winner, he is driving the After Hours Imaging Adirondack Auto Little Pizza Shop Bud Light Casella Sponsor 20. The racing professor from Plattsburgh, Bucko Branham. Branham starts 12. That is Justin Severance of the 4J. The 29 of Nick Haywood. The 71 for Delbert Lagro. That it is the M70 for Billy Cook. 66 for Jason Bruno. 85P Mike Palmer. 22 Dylan Raptoy. That on the outside, it looks like the 80 of Andy Haywood. Corey McCoy in the 69M. Oh, look out. We got a car off the pace as they're coming down to take the green. A scrambled start as not firing Michael Sabia in the number seven. He appears to have broken on the left rear. So we are set to rock and roll. Patrick Picotin in the 48, Ricky Thompson the 1R. Here comes the field in a turn number four. Thompson wants to go, Picotin not so much. The green flag is out. The green flag flies as they work into turns one and two. Race control with the calls of the drivers, yellow flag. No start now is on the outside. Who is that on the outside of row number three? Looks like the 19 of Jamie Begor will now be on the outside of row three. All right, better job by the front row as they work into turn number four. The green flag is out. Pico Tank gets the jump. Thompson in the 1R wanted to get his car down to the inside. Spishock had to get on the binders and now look three wide, racing for fifth. It's the fourth position that they're duking it out for. It is the 18 of K on the outside. Aubin on the inside. Aubin's going to have the spot off of four. Smack in the wall with Spishock off of turn number four. Jack Spishock got way up high off of turn number four. Smoked the wall coming off the fourth turn. We'll see if that impacts the 08. Cruising out front in the 48 is Patrick Picotin. Pico 10 shows the way in the 22 graphics 48 machine that it is the 1R of Ricky Thompson. Speed shock in the 08, Cody Aubin, car seven. Aubin to the inside, Speed shock on the outside. Behind them it's the 18 of Chris K.A., the 19 of Jamie Bigor to the inside. Bigor looking to grab a spot as they work at a turn number three, trying to get into the top five. Jamie Bigor on the inside, Chris K.A. falling back to sixth. Bigor is into the top five. Wheel to wheel, they race continuing for that third position. Speed Shock working the rim on the outside, the seven of Aubin. He's gonna drop back to that fourth spot as Speed Shock settles the deal. He'll grab third. But cruising out front is Pico 10 in the 48. Pico 10 with a half front stretch advantage now over car 1R, that is Ricky Thompson. Third, Speed Shock. 
Fourth, Audit. Fifth, Bigor. Sixth, K.A. Seventh is LaFountain. Eighth is Buck O'Branham. He's gained four spots, started 12th. Running in ninth, it is uh, Devin Willis in the 7W. Here comes Nick Haywood. Haywood trying to get into the top 10, looking to the inside of the 93 of Chris K.A. Uh, make that the 93 of Chris Frenier. Frenier holds him off for now. Haywood running in 11th. 12th would be the R7 of Lonnie Rivers. Here is Justin Severance looking to make a move. He'll get 13th away from Delbert McGraw. Out front, it continues to be Patrick Picotin, who continues to set a very fast pace. Thompson in the 1R, runs second, third. Spishock, a gap back to Cody Alban in the seven machine. Then it is Jamie Beagle rounding out the top five. Thompson, squirrely in turn number four, collects it, but he is now almost a full front stretch behind the 48 of Pico Tent. Pico Tent collecting the back of the pack. The 35 of Brian McGinley, the next car in line, that Pico Tent would have to work around. Lap number eight about to go up on the board for Patrick Pico Tent as he works along the front stretch. Running down the back of the pack runners, including Brian McGinley in the number 35. It is almost a full backstretch back to the 1R of Ricky Thompson. Pico Tem moves to the inside of McGinley. He'll put him a lap down. Lap number 10 going up on the scoreboard. Pico Tem moving past the start finish line. Andy Haywood actually it's lap nine. Andy Haywood has taken the 80 machine back to the garage area. So again, Pico Tem leads. Thompson runs second, third, Spishock, fourth, Auburn, fifth, Bigor, those cars running top five, yellow, yellow, yellow. Over in turn two, a car that has spun. Got it. All right, here comes the field off of turn number four along the front stretch of the green. Flag is out. Again, a good start for Pico Ted. He's going to work the middle line at one and two. Here comes Auburn on the outside. He's going to grab third away from Spishock. Spishock bobbled in one and two. Branham looks to the inside of Bigor in the 19. Going to turn number three. Bigor to the inside. Branham still digging down low right next to Bigor. Bigor keeps the position. As off of turn number four, Chris K loses a spot to Buck O'Branham. Jack Spishock way up high on the 08. Jamie Bigor trying to dig underneath. Everybody continues to chase Patrick Pico 10. Wheel the wheel running for the fourth spot. Bigor on the inside. He's got it. Spishock's trying to work. On the outside, running the rim, but he's going to lose a spot to Bigor and maybe to Branham by the time he's done. Spishock trying to find some bite up on the outside. We have cars off the pace here along the front stretch. The 69M of Corey McCoy has stopped right near the start-finish line, and that's going to bring out a yellow. Patrick Picotin, A-plus on every restart and initial start of the race to this point. And again, we'll see what Ricky Thompson does to this point, he's been content getting down to second. And that's what he wants to do again. Green flag is back out. Thompson to the inside. Can he hang with Pico 10? Pico 10 off a of turn number two. Thompson running with him now. Car length as they go down the back stretch. Here comes Nick Haywood with a good run. Haywood looking to move to fourth to the inside of Jamie Bigor. Buckle Branham's down there as well. Branham moving to the inside. He's up to fifth. Bigor goes back to the sixth position. Ricky Thompson has decided to go, oh, look out, we got cars sideways along the front stretch. Chris Frenier with the unique e 93, he has problems on the left front, appears to have broken on the left front. Billy Cook with the M70, he is into the infield. We're halfway home, cars off the pace of the back stretch as well. Rico Hernandez, Zach Daniels, and that should bring out, and does bring out, another yellow flag. I thought initially there might have been a wheel hop along the front, and that's right where he is right now. The front of the seven is pushing the 48 into three and four. You can't blame them. It's a good move. All right, ready to go. Here they come through turn number four along the front stretch. Green flag is out. Thompson will move it down right in front of Aubin. Coming back out of the track quickly, Daniels. He'll stay in. Oh, look out. We got a car spinning. Cody Aubin is spun. Severance is able to miss him. Aubin points it back out towards the track. And... With cars parked up in turn two, it's a yellow call. All right, so it is still Picotin and Thompson, the dance partners in the front row.
But right behind, keep an eye on row number two. You know how good those two guys are as they come off a of turn number four. Down the front stretch of the green flag is out. Haywood trying to get to the inside of Thompson. Thompson trying to pitch him down in one and two. Branham goes to the rim over in turn number two. Thompson's up high. There goes Spishock off the top of turn number two. Haywood moves through to second. Here comes Branham looking to get to the inside as well. Picotin shows the way. Haywood trying to finish the pass for a second. Thompson fighting on the outside. At the line, it's Haywood by about a foot for that second spot. But Thompson fights back in one and two. Gets a good bite off of one through two. Haywood still with the advantage for the second spot. Thompson on the outside. Branham falling back a little bit now. He's running in that fourth spot. But give Nick Haywood second. He has finished the pass along the front stretch. Haywood will now try to chase down Patrick Pico 10. Pico 10 has been very smooth through one and two. Running a very good line throughout the night. Starting on point, looking to go green to checkers. He's got an eight car length advantage over car 29 and Nick Haywood. The one R of Thompson running in third. Running in the fourth spot, Branham. A gap back to fifth and Jamie Begor. Lonnie Rivers is sixth. Seventh is Chris Kaye. Eighth is Justin Severance. Running in ninth is Dustin Willis, Devin Willis rather. And rounding out the top 10, Mike Palmer in the 85P. Well, here's Haywood in the 29 now, cutting into that deficit as he works off of turn number four. What was about an eight car length deficit for Haywood has turned into a six car length deficit. So perhaps Haywood in the 29, ever so slightly cutting into that disadvantage. Meanwhile, the Professor Buck O'Branham, he's worked past Ricky Thompson for third. It's a large gap though, about 10 car lengths up to the 29 of Nick Haywood as they race down the front stretch. It's Pico 10. The 29 of Haywood, Branham in the 20, Ricky Thompson in fourth, and Branham, or make that Beagle rather, hanging on to the five spot. Lonnie Rivers in the R7, he runs at sixth. Seventh right now on the outside, Chris K.A., he makes that pass official as Severance drops back to eighth. Then it's Mike Palmer ninth and tenth is Willis with five laps to go for Patrick Picotin in the number 48 and he has just increased his advantage. Absolutely. He ran really smooth through three and four. Haywood did not have a good uh, time through the third and fourth turn and that has cost him a number of spots. And right now, Pico 10 just continues to run smooth lines around the racetrack. 21 up on the board, four to go. Pico 10 is setting the car nicely over in turn number one, and that just vaults him through turn two and down the back stretch. We got a car off the pace, up in three and four. That might be Billy Cook in the M70. He is parked to top turn four. Yellow flag is out. Oh, the yellow flag is out with 21 showing complete. All right, 21 laps complete. It's a four lap dash to the checkered flag for the Poirier's True Value Sportsman Division tonight. And they're ready to go. Here they come through turn number four. Green flag is out. Pico 10. And the 29 Mick Haywood as they fly along the front stretch. Working into turns one and two. Haywood gets a good run on the outside. Here comes Nick Haywood trying to draw even as they go down to turn number three. Pico 10 on the inside. Haywood on the outside. Pico 10 bobbles at turn number three. Haywood on the outside. Looking for the advantage. Down the line. Nick Haywood's got the lead. Haywood has the lead at the line. Still digging on the outside. Pico 10 holding on to second. Branham third. Thompson off the track in two. He's going to lose one, two, three spots as he goes all the way back to sixth. Popsicle sticks are out. Two laps to go for Plattsburgh's Nick Haywood in the 29. Patrick Pico 10 runs in second. Third is Buck O'Branham. Running in fourth, it's the 19 of Jamie Begor. Lonnie Rivers into the top five for the first time. Down the backstretch into three and four. Jack Spishock off the pace of the 08. He is pushing off the top of turn two. Another car off the top of turn two. White flag is out. White flag has been thrown for Nick Haywood. A car off the top of the track and now yellow. The yellow call goes out with a car off the top. The 48 on the inside. Bigor looking to go with him up on top. Buck O'Branham wants to go with the 48. Haywood wants to go now over in turn three. Pico 10 has matched him. Here they come through turn number four. Along the front stretch. Green, green, green. Green flag is out. Haywood on the outside. Pico 10 down low. They push up high over in turn number two. Bigor back to third on the outside. Branham slides back to the fourth spot. Pico 10 to the inside. Haywood on the outside. Racing for the lead. Coming down to take the white flag now. Nick Haywood's got the lead. They go into turn number one. Again, Pico 10 digging down low. Haywood doesn't bobble in one and two. Down the back stretch. Haywood leading by two car lengths. They work into turn number three. Haywood in the 29. It's the high line through three and four. It's the checkered flags flying for car 29 and Nick Haywood. Second is Pico 10, third Beagle, fourth Branham, fifth to Justin Severance, sixth Lonnie Rivers, seventh goes to Ricky Thompson, eighth to the 20X of Jamie O'Fountain, ninth to Chris K. A.
job. Nick Haywood is here. Nick, we're going to first uh, start with the last five laps. It was right around lap number 21 where you restarted up on top of the racetrack, and I think that sets you up for down the stretch. Talk about the run that you had up on top of the track in turn number two. You are able to drive right around Picotin on the top and eventually make the pass over in turn number three. That was on the lap 21 restart. Yeah, he, uh, he had me on the start, and we had some bite on the top, and, man, this thing was digging. It was just coming, and uh, I caught even with him going into two, and then coming out, it just rocketed, and then uh, no looking back till that caution. Then I was a little nervous, but uh, I was glad I had lane choice, that's for sure. Coming down to take the white flag, and you hear the yellow flag call go out, and I'm sure there were some choice words going through the cockpit of the number 29, but uh, again, talk a little bit about uh, lane choice, and then take me through that final lap. Seemed as though both of you got on the hammer pretty quick over in turns three and four, but fortunately for you, you were able to find good bite off the top, and I think you beat him the stripe and over into turn number one. Yeah, I, uh, the, the bottom of the turn is real slick, so you're spinning. So I figured if I could get him spinning in the middle of the corner, I'd be able to drive off and uh, at least be with him going into the stripe, and then uh, I could have my line going into the corner, and uh, that's what we got. And after that, it was uh, smooth sailing, man. Well, this one wasn't easy by any means. You had your work cut out for you, but, Nick, you did a fine job. It was an exciting finish. Congratulations on win number one. Yeah, thank you. I just got to thank my sponsors quick. Uh, PM Leary Restoration, Roto Rooter, uh, Labatt Blue, Liquor and Wine Warehouse, Casella, DuBray's, uh, DuBray's Towing and Service, Warren Tire Service Center, Triple X Coatings, Clipper Corner, uh, Perkins Chiropractor, and PMC Race Cars and Fast Line Shock Setup. Nick, fine job. Thank you. That's Nick Haywood. He picks.